With the new law now in effect, school feels less safe to Silas Kane. I am so hated for just existing and being who I am. The 15-year-old came out as transgender five years ago to a teacher before he told his mother. She said other children won't have that opportunity. I moved to Canada in 2007 from the UK um, and this isn't what I thought I was moving to. I mean, this is really awful, scary. Jessica Fraser and Meadow McLean both have transgender children in the school system. There were several gender diverse kids and the teachers were amazing. They're upset by the new law, but feel confident some teachers will still find creative ways to support children. They just worry it won't be enough. Supported in research that having one safe adult that you can um, discuss these things with saves lives and prevents suicide attempts and death by suicide. And so the fact that we're potentially taking that away is just an atrocity, really. I'm going to quote Mr. Rogers. Let's look for the helpers. Dr. Sarah Dungewell is a Saskatoon psychiatrist. She says the public backlash to the law has been encouraging and that mental health professionals, when given the opportunity, will still support children. We have not been in a well enough funded mental health support system in, in years, so we are all quite experienced with trying to make the best of a challenging situation. We're going to keep working on that. Other mental health supports. Well, we know there's not enough of that kind of thing in schools um, just because the, you know, the funding just isn't there. Um, so, you know, that's really not a realistic option. How many more trans kids have to die before they realize that this isn't okay? Fred Tishtayal, CBC News, Saskatoon.